Hi, welcome to this short presentation on Simon and Chabri, 1999. This is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. Uh, this is the background. Um, inattentional blindness is the failure to see an event or object in your field of vision because you are so focused on other elements of what you can see. Simon and Chabri refer to, refer to two types of research in this area, computer-based dynamic displays and video-based dynamic events. And a good example of a video-based dynamic event is uh, the study by Nyser et al, where Nyser conducted a method uh, that tests inattentional blindness using a re realistic event that was video recorded. The video consisted of, consisted of two teams of basketball players and each team passed a ball from one player to the next. The participant was instructed to press a key every time a pass was observed. 30 seconds into the film, the unexpected event occurred, and this was a woman carrying an umbrella across the screen. From the 28 participants, only six reported seeing the woman. Those who just watched the video and didn't count passes saw the woman 100% of the time. This um, shows inattentional blindness because the um, participants are so focused on the event that they did not see the woman walking across the screen. 30 seconds into the video. These studies were said to, to uh, not be able to be generalized to a real life um, because the cross parad paradigm is not something you would do in real life and the people in NICE's video were transparent because the players had been superimposed onto one another. This was just purely due to convenience because it was really hard to get um, the players to be all in sync with one another and so it's easier just to film the white team and the black team separately and just super superimpose the events onto one another. Aims. Using NICE's video based method as a model, Simon and Shabri aim to confirm that inattentional blindness occurs in a realistic, complex situation, a video recording of events and that it is sustained. That is, the unexpected event lasts for five seconds or more. They also wanted to identify the effect of a number of variables on the rate of inattentional blindness. Uh, these variables were similarity of the unexpected event to the, to, to the event being attended to, the unusualness of the event, the level of difficulty of the task, um, and would a more realistic video recording give similar or different findings to the transparent video used in NICE's study. Um, here is a, just a diagram of what the videos look like and just like a snapshot. So this is like the transparent videos and this is the opaque one. Here we have the umbrella woman, as you can see. It's actually really hard to see in the transparent video. And um, here's the gorilla um, condition. And here is the umbrella woman again and the gorilla, but this is the opaque condition this time. Method. Um, so let's start the sample. Um, 228 participants, who were almost all undergraduate students, um, took part in the experiment. The researchers were based at Harvard University, which if you don't know is in the USA. Um, some participants volunteered without payment whereas others received a single payment for taking part in this study and an additional study that was unrelated to this one. Materials. Recordings of the same actors recorded on the same day in the same location, each lasting about 75 seconds. Each video consist consisted of two teams of three players. One wore white shirts, which was the white team, and the other wore black shirts which was uh, referred to as the black team. The teams passed a basketball between them using aerial and bounce passes. Player one passed to player two, then player two passed to player three, and so forth. The area of the location was in front of a set of lift doors and was about three uh, times by three by five meters. About 44 to 48 seconds into the video, the unexpected event occurred, either the umbrella woman condition or the gorilla condition. So um, the participants were assigned to either of these conditions and the unexpected event was either, a, either the umbrella woman or the gorilla or a gorilla like we saw in the previous slide. There were two conditions, transparent 
where the video was superimposed, like in the previous slide, or opaque, where the players weren't transparent. Obviously. <laughs> procedure. The procedure was standardised and a team of 21 experimenters gathered data from 228 participants. All the participants were tested individually and gave informed consent in advance, which is really good for ethics. Before viewing the videotape, participants were told they would be watching two teams of three players passing basketballs, passing basketballs and that they should pay attention to either the team in white, the white condition, or the team in black, the black condition. They were told to keep either a silent mental count of the total number of passes made by the attended team, the easy condition, or separate silent mental counts of the number of bounce passes and aerial passes made by the attended team, the hard condition. After viewing the videotape and, re and performing the monitoring tasks, participants were immediately asked to, to write down their counts on paper. They were then asked the following additional questions. Number one. While you, while you were doing the, the counting, did you notice anything unusual in the video? Number two, did you notice anything other than the six players? Number three, did you see a gorilla slash woman carrying an umbrella walk across the screen? After any yes responses, participants were asked to provide details of what they noticed. If at any point a participant mentioned the unexpected event, the remaining questions were skipped. After questioning, Participants were asked if they had previously participated in a similar experiment, heard, heard of such an experiment, or heard of the general phenomenon. If they said yes, they were replaced and their data was discarded. Participants were debriefed. This included replaying the video, the videotape on request. Each testing session lasted five to ten minutes. Results. 36 participants' data uh, were not included for many reasons. Um, for example, if they were suspicious or if they had seen a similar video before uh, or lost count of the passes, then their data was just excluded. The remaining 192 participants were distributed equally across the 16 conditions of the 2x2x2x2 two by two by two by two design, 12 per condition. The overall level of inattentional blindness was 46%, which was significant. In the transparent video condition, only 42% noticed the uh, event compared to 67% in the opaque condition, which is consider considerably more. More participants noticed, noticed the unexpected event in the easy condition than the hard condition, 64% to 45% respectively. The effect of, a t of task difficulty was greater in the transparent condition, um, than in the opaque condition. The umbrella woman was noticed more often than the gorilla overall, 65% versus 44%. This relation held regardless of the video type, monitoring, monitoring task or attended team. The gorilla was noticed more by participants who, who attended to the actions of the black team than who watched the white uh, team. Black 58% or white 27%. Um, and this links to the similar similarity of the event because the gorilla was black, whereas the people attending the black team were, well, they were like the same colour. However, there was little difference between those attending to the black team and those attending to the white team in noticing the umbrella woman, woman 62% for the black team uh, and 69% for the white team. Conclusion. Inattentional blindness occurs in dynamic events that are sustained, lasting more than five seconds. One third of participants miss the unexpected event in the opaque condition, and so inattentional blindness can, cannot just be attributed to the transparency of the video used, as suggested, suggest, suggested in NICE's study. There is no conscious perception without attention. Individuals are more likely to notice the unexpected event if the event is similar to the um, the event they are paying attention to. So that's the end of the presentation. I hope you understood um, what Simon and Shabri's study was about um, and please watch uh, my future videos. Thank you.